Radio Network, and I'm joined with farm broadcaster Jay Sanderson. We're here at the Kansas State Fair in Hutchinson, Kansas. Really excited because today we're trying out some fair foods. Jay, what are you most excited for? Well, there's a lot of stuff. We're going to get to try the uh, Krispy Kreme hot dog today, which sounds interesting. That's code for gross. <laughs> uh, the one thing that I did see that I'm excited about, I mentioned it on the radio today. It's the KSF Bull Burger. And what it is, it is one pound uh, hamburger patty and a black Angus patty. One pound, two Kaiser buns, three slices of cheese, six pieces of bacon, lettuce, tomato, pickle, and onion. It's like this big. I don't know how you eat it, but I'm going to give it a try. Oh, I'm not. That's all you. That's all you. But you're a much more adventurous eater than I am, too. Yes, I am. And I will try whatever they put in front of me. They've got a honey bun burger this year. That's new. And of course, if you're from Kansas, you know about a Pronto Pup. That is the crown jewel of fair food. It is the best corn dog you will ever have. I've never tried one. So I guess it's going to be new. I am. And I'm not an adventurous eater at all. I'm actually really kind of picky. So I'm pretty nervous, but it's going to be a good day. Going to try out all the different foods. A big thank you to the Kansas State Fair for allowing us to do this. We will start our food tour here at the Kansas State Fair in the Carousel Cafe, one of the newest items this year. It is a Krispy Kreme hot dog. I have no idea what to expect. What do you think? I don't know. I am a little nervous. You know I'm a picky eater. I <laughs> This is the thing that I've been dreading, so I'm glad we're starting out with this. All right, here we go. Let's give it a try. Go for it. You go first. You go. No, I'm nervous. That look, that look on your face is not a good one. Some of this is not for everybody. I don't know if I'm sold. I'm not a very sweet and savory mixed together okay. kind of person. I mean, if you're into that mixing sweet and savory, then maybe, but. <laughs> All right, here. Let me give this a try. I am not a picky eater, so we'll see. Although, having, it appears to be uh, raspberry jelly and bacon on this with a Krispy Kreme donut as the bun for the hot dog. Not bad. Not bad. Mixed reviews on that one. Yeah, it's good. I'd it have is, an OM. It's very messy though, so be prepared yeah. for that. Get they napkins. Gave us a four more savages. <laughs> I don't. I'm glad you <laughs> liked it, Jay. I'm not not sold on that one. But they have other stuff here at the Carousel Cafe, so you definitely should check them out regardless. So let's go see what else they have. <laughs> We're just across the street from the Carousel Cafe where we're able to try out some deep fried cheesecake bites. And uh, this is a cause I can get behind. Right. Let's see if I like this I one a little better. Last, you went first last time. Let's see. Now, this is legit. I mean, you can see. It looks so This is good. actual cheesecake down inside here. I might be messy. Real cheesecake in there. All right. A warm. It's very good. It kind of tastes like a funnel cake with cheesecake inside of it. It's got the powdered sugar on it and the the, uh, the so strawberry glaze, I guess is what you would call that. Oh, that's so good. You like that better than the hot dog? A lot better. <laughs> it is better. I didn't mind the hot dog. It was okay, but I've got a pretty rabid sweet tooth, and uh, this is good. That is so delicious, and I really, they put a strawberry glaze on top. And I think that's my favorite part, is a little bit of strawberry glaze. Oh, okay. I don't know. This might be my favorite. We're going to go to the Pronto Pup. It's a, you, it's a Kansas thing. If you're from Kansas, you know what a Pronto Pup is. You're from Missouri. You're not from Kansas <laughs> yeah. originally. This is a new, this is a new adventure. So uh, we're going to do Pronto Pup. So we're next stop on our Kansas State Fair food tour, which I'm telling you, this has been so much fun. And uh, something that I've never tried before, the Pronto Pup. Oh, my God. They're so good. I... <clears throat> I'm so excited. This is the best part about the fair for me. You can have everything else. You can have all the John Deere equipment. And you can have all the cow shows and all that. This is why you come to the fair. This. All right, this is your first one. It's I'm, really hot. So tell me what it is, though. It's a corn dog. That all it is is that's a, just a that's plain it? corn dog, but it's so good. I, I, there's something about the flavor. I don't know what the breading is, the kind of hot dog. They could put crack in here, and I would have no idea <laughs> what I, I, I don't care. I don't care. It's that good. Okay. So, all right, here we, we go. We got this. It's really hot. 
Yeah. Mm. Pretty good. Reminds me of being a kid. <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm six years old again right now. And I feel like you can't have a fair experience without a corn dog Something either. Fried. So. And this is the fried food of choice. I am so happy right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so is this your favorite? Oh, by far. By far. <laughs> I don't know. I think I like the, I like the fried cheesecake too, though. I could get on board with this though. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Cut to a montage of of Jay just looking longingly. That- Continuing on our food tour of the Kansas State Fair, and this is the special celebrity round. Sure, celebrity, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm joined with Josh Rosner out of the Dodge City Stations. You can catch him on the Marshall and here at the fair with Tin Lizzie's as well. Um, yeah, we're calling it the celebrity round. It works for me. I'll so, take it. So where we're at here at the Tin Lizzie's booth is just a spitting distance over to the dairy bar, and uh, you can actually order online to the Dairy Bar this year. It's ksdairybar.com. Are you going to use that way too much? Probably, but there's, like you said, I mean, I can see in their door from here. So we, we just wander by, and they're like, photo guy, ice cream. I mean, it's, so. Oh, they just throw it. Well, so that's, and then also this year's flavor of the year, it is peach soft serve. And they had a, what it was, I don't remember, they had a special name for it, but it is peach. And I'm excited to try that one out eventually I've, as well. I've heard it's good. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. But right now, we're going back to the classics. Root beer float. Yes. What do you think, John? Uh, they're pretty darn good. It is uh, their, their soft serve ice cream that they, they freeze right there. They dump their mix and milk and Kansas Dairy Farm Association product, and they freeze it every day and uh, pour some root beer over it, and it's pretty darn good. Okay, we have to try it. I'm going to just go straight for the root do beer. It. I'm more of a root beer drinker. It's melty enough now that it's all, you know. Oh, that's good. You good? I could get on board with that. So I think that finishes up our food tour of the Kansas State Fair. And oh my goodness, I'm really full. I think they're going to have to roll me out of here. Well, I've got a couple other things. There's a Prano Pub stand immediately right there. I'm going to get another one. They've got a new, new this year. they got a foot-long Pronto Pub. I'm not kidding you. That's going to happen. So it's definitely no secret that the Prano Pub's your favorite. No question. But I think I'm going to have to go with the deep fried cheesecake. I think that was my favorite. If you're in a dessert mode, Mm -hmm. that's a good one. The one thing we did not check out, they've got roasted corn, fresh corn, pulled right out of the fields from up here near Bueller. Uh, So you get that roasted corn, you can't beat that. But I'm Jay Sanderson. She's Sarah Miles. The beer garden's right there. That's where I'm going. So we'll see you later. Thanks so much for joining us on our food tour. We'll be here all week at the Kansas State Fair. So make sure to come by and say hi.